Now in Eyewitness News, alert the Attorney General's office is warning residents and business owners about an ongoing payment scheme. People posing as National Grid employees are lying about past due balances to solicit bank and credit card information. Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Estefan is live in our newsroom now with the information you need to know to protect yourself. Well, here's the scenario. Your phone rings. On the line is someone who claims to be a representative for a utility company. They tell you that payment is due on the spot or they'll shut off your electricity. What would you do? Well, the Attorney General's office tells us the only response is to hang up. We have heard of similar situations before. Thieves threatening to turn off your power if you don't submit a payment over the phone. The Attorney General's office tells us those responsible are ramping up their efforts in Rhode Island. It's continuing, it's expanding, and we felt it necessary to reach out more directly even to the public to let them know beware of this scam. The latest move, someone calls claiming to work for National Grid. They ask for your credit card information or for you to wire them money. National Grid representatives say they do not operate that way. No, we're not aggressive like that. When we do have uh, any issues with customers out there uh, with their bills, we call them to set up payment plans. The AG stresses whether it be electricity or something else. Any company that calls unsolicited and asks for your banking information is a red flag. Because if they're demanding credit card information, which is a case here, say no, hang up immediately. If you have any doubts, hang up anyway and call the company's direct line to clarify. Now, the Attorney General does not believe those responsible live in Rhode Island, just that they are targeting this state at this time. If you receive one of these phone calls, you are asked to call the Attorney General's office or National Grid. In the newsroom, Nicole Estefan, Eyewitness News.